Hey guys and welcome back to Landstriders Terra Firma Punk Server, brought to you proudly by Aim to Game Servers. Woo! And today, I think it's time to start addressing my food issue. It's an issue that I've been having for a very long time, and having a look around here, it's probably not an issue I'm going to solve immediately but i think we can start making uh head headway on it if we use the quern here now the quern is an ancient piece of technology used way back in the stone age to grind up grains to make flour and thus bread unfortunately like i've got some oats and, and some things like that no um oh wow i've got loads of maize seeds on me no uh wheat wheat is the word i was looking for there but that never fear Wheat is not the only way you can make bread, so I was just going to have a look at my crops over there and make sure everything was okay. No, no, no. The other way you can make bread, if we pop it into here, you can see down the end we've got cornbread. Now, how do we make cornbread? Well, we, we cook some corn dough. Obviously, how would that not be the thing there? How do we make corn dough? Cornmeal and water. It doesn't need to be in the red steel bucket. Any, any way we can make water would be great. And that is in the quern, quern uh, with some maize. Now, thankfully... Maze. I, I am stacked with maize. So let's get on with that. To make said thing involves a lot of cut stone. And I'm not sure if it's specifically any type of stone, but I'm going to try it. Let's have a look and see what stone we've got. Well, of course, smooth stone would be something that I don't actually have in any amount. So we need to make ourselves a chisel. Chisels are nice and easy to make thankfully uh, and I think at the same time I might make myself another couple of bowls here as we've got a few and then I can kind of dump stuff in the salad making process there and that, that would be tasty wouldn't it okay potato salad with tomato squash and a little bit of garlic for flavor that's the way forward but we're gonna make some stuff here now hopefully uh, we're gonna need a lot more clay than that of course we should be able to make a chisel mold I think I'm just gonna go for mold uh, and let's have a look chisel straight line down the middle nice and simple that is a must for being able to go and attack some walls and get the smooth stuff i also think i would like to make some more bowls as i have previously said i have just done this as a uh, pickaxe rather than a bowl haven't i oh no there we go that's cool and then we put the ceramic vessel inside so i'm gonna have to wait seven hours yet again to try and let all these things cook out so i will call you back when things are ready to go Okay, so one of my two fires are done. Let's crack this open. The reason I have to do this one before that one finishes is, of course, because we have molten copper on the go here. Now, the chisel is the thing we need to get done right now. The other things in the other pit, I will quickly explain what we're doing with those. If we have a look in the book here, you can see there are a few quests up top that I'm working on at the moment. One of them is the tools, uh, the ch copper chisel we've literally just poured, but we've also got the prospectors pick and the scythe uh can you guess what molds i have in that one uh in that pit there uh also on the other side we have an axe and a hoe that need doing again can you guess what i've got in the pit uh so obviously i've got the molds for all those four uh i all do also need to come up with another way of melting my copper down as we now have a ceramic vessel with 10 liquid units in it i'm going to take one of these ingot molds and just kind of pop it in there for now because i wish to melt some more copper and that is going to take well all of this i'm not sure how much i can stack in there but that is not my quest for the moment oh no 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 my quest for the moment is to pull this out here Oh, yeah. Grab some of the many, many sticks I have on the go here. Let's pop that silkworm away whilst we are here. And to make the chisel. Now, the chisel. Very vital piece of equipment here. If we go inside and grab myself one of these uh, giant picks that Infernal very, very kindly dropped round for me. We're going to go check out this wall over here. So, and there's no reason why, in particular, this one here. It was just the closest one. So, I think... Oh, no. Can we not do things here there was a way of making this into a solid block oh did it again oh my god i'm nearly dead uh oh, guys i was just trying to get a tool of course because ah, oh, when you need to use a chisel you need something to hit the hit the chisel with oh my god i just want to stay away from this hole now uh let's get in here and make this as we are supposed to i can't believe i fell down that hole look how much life it's oh Oh, my life back. How did that happen? I don't know. I did not observe that happening. I'm sure I'm going to watch it decently when I get 
back into the video editing. But here we go. We've got a chisel and we've got a, uh, a hammer to hit it with. You can see at the end of my hot bar, it has changed form. So hopefully, it's, I mean, is this a big drop here? There is a big drop there. That's actually where I fell in. Okay, let's start with that one. Any, any moment now, if you could, please. I thought this would do it. Okay, it's got a red outline. I wonder if that has anything to do with why. Okay, so that one worked. I wonder why that one worked and none of the others. So we've got to try and clear it out. I think this using this uh, might have been a bad idea. Kind of was, but also did the things we wanted to. So if I can take this out, will it pop? Uh, I've got to take that bit of dirt out from behind. Okay, that is most unfortunate. I've fallen down the hole again. Ah, Look at this caving, of course. Well, somehow I managed to get these two to work. I, I was holding control at the time when I right click, so I don't know whether that is part of what happened here. But now that we have managed to make these change, and I will demonstrate one more time because we're going to need at least four bits of this uh, this smoothly chiseled stuff. But what we need to do is break away all the stuff around it. Now, I should have made myself a little shovel to get going here, but I did not. So we're going to have to deal with the ultra slow digging method of by hand. It's how men do it, you know, it's how men do it. There seems to be a little bit of trouble with the popping mechanism here, but I'm fairly sure once we clear this out of the way. No, no, is that is that not how it works now? Or do we just dig into it now? Uh, it used to be that you would separate it all off and then that, it would pop out. But that, now that I think about it, might actually just be for the smooth stone. Perhaps I've made a little bit of an error here, but that is no problem. Because we actually have got hold of this now and that is the important bit. Yeah, okay, so it must have been just for the smooth stone. To demonstrate what it is that I'm actually rambling on about, let's uh, dig out some areas around this bit of smooth stone here. And you will note once it becomes a freestanding structure, it pops off as its own little block there. That's nice. Well, anyway, I'm going to go around. Yeah, no no control, no shift. Must have been every time I tried it. It just happened to be the point where the server was lagging. Oh, well, that is a thing. So, now that we've got all this together, I think it's time that we started making things like the Quern base. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh no, oh no, hey, look at that. Ah, what? Well, I see, I wasn't just confused. I actually needed these uh, smooth bits of stone here. So we're, we're going to go around and do that quickly. It should be relatively quick because we've got like all these nice bits just kind of floating here already. Ah, uh, gravel back there. That's not the best. In fact, if we take out this block here and then the block behind, we should be able to trick it into thinking there is no block when, you know, the falling dirt is actually in its entity state. Yeah, like that. Okay, brilliant. So that was also good. If we do this and look for some sticks, we got the handstone. All right, it, it's it's getting close, guys. It's getting close. Let me go back home. Then we can place this somewhere down in this space here. Uh, at some point, we will actually be moving almost all of the food and smeltery equipment inside my tower here. But I need to, you know, get around to actually finishing it. It's all about collecting wood at the moment. You need a lot of wood to build a big tower, it turns out. I know, crazy, right? So this grindstone, uh, this is where we put our maze inside. But more importantly, do we pop this on top or do we put it in here like this yeah just like that okay and then you can spin it somehow do i need to go actually at that no at this oh i'm not sure what we need to do here maybe, maybe hit it so it did something when i clicked on there i is actually right click it just seems yeah every time i right click it uh, takes me into the UI, which uh, I suppose is all right, but it's not actually what we... Ah, there we go. I found it. I found it. You've got to look over the top without looking at the hitbox in any way, shape or form and click on that bit of uh, wood there, the stick. So let's have a look inside. It's made a whole load of cornmeal for me. Next problem, making a bucket, a boucher, to get the water out of. Let's try that. Okay, wooden bucket. Nice and simple if you have... A saw, which I happen to have right here. The real question on my mind is, can I chop up Willow? I can. Nice. And eight bits. Eight bits come tumbling to the floor. That is amazing. Wooden bucket. Now, I'm hoping this is just a case of getting down this way, uh, scooping up the water, and having a bucket full of water. I mean, that should be a thing, right? I mean, I'm not sure whether the salt water is going to be a problem. 
It says salt water. Okay, we don't want that. Let's let that flow back inside. Let's try... Uh, I was given a bit of a tip by Dornell once upon a time. He said, hey, if you use the hot spring water, you can let it cool down and become real water. So let's see if that is a thing. Take that corner out. No, I can't scoop it with a bucket. All right, well, I need to run to my actual water supply, which is uh, just coming on the bottom of my map there. It's a little bit of a wander away, so I will be back. One of the tasks that are going to be coming up real soon, I think, is going to be creating either an aqueduct or just a pipe system to go all the way back there fresh water beautiful and whilst i am here i've got my uh water leather here so i'm gonna just top up with that i didn't want to do that and then i can just drink here like this though it does take forever so uh i'll see you back home returning to my well i was gonna say humble abode but i think i might go with ramshackle abode uh we will put the water in with the cornmeal ah oh, just in time because i'm starting to starve um, in fact, I should have some food on me. I'm just going to munch down on this bit of potato. Raw potato. It's what life is all about. Okay, that puts me up enough to uh, worry about other things. My inventory, man, just, just in the time of sorting all this out, it gets out of hand like you would not believe. Let's drop some willow in here. Uh, and then, of course, we have to hit it with the fire starter. A twisted fire starter. Yeah. And then we just need to watch it until it turns into cornbread. It's uh, very hot. I'm not sure if I need to, like, take it off before it burns. I'm assuming it will just drop down. Oh, there, yeah, like that. Oh, brilliant. And I've got myself some bread. Now, what can we do with bread? We can use it instead of bowls. Yeah, get out of here. No one needs you anymore. Pop that in. Oh, uh, there. <laughs> and then create. I've got myself a sandwich. Oh, Oh, it's so good. Potato and, and what else? What else did I put in there? Potato, tomato, squash and garlic. Mmm, what a great tasting sandwich. Alright, pottery has done cooking here. But, so hopefully... Oh, did you did you tell those colloquialisms here? Pottery has done cooking here, mate. You know, yeah. Alright, so we're going to open this up and just... Fill up each one of these moulds. This one is the prospector's pick. Needed, of course, to make the prospector's pick. It is a pickaxe and a searching device. All in one. It helps me find and locate ores. The scythe, I do believe, helps me chop down leaves and cut grass. The hoe. I mean, if you don't know what a hoe does at this point in your Minecraft career, it might be a little bit too late for you. And, of course, same can be said for the axe if we just let that top up brilliant okay i'm literally just going to pop these in the middle here oh no that's not how it works we've got to demold first a vital part of any metal casting process is taking the mold away okay and then we should be able to do it like this giving it some okay so that's all those tools made that was done in aid of oh look at this brilliant or oh, doing all these quests uh i'm not going to claim the rewards yet but i'm going to have a look at the willow tree farm collect 64 willow tree saplings and start a large tree farm are you kidding me man like i've been kind of turning over some willow over there but 64 really 64 okay what else do we have on the go we've done this one as well so we've now opened up towards the uh sluice we can make a sluice we can do fence posts oh, that's very very nice uh the willow tree farm the chestnut tree farm i think the next thing we're going to go for is these maces and stuff like that but i need to use the prospector's pick to go on a bit of a wander around it's a bit dangerous as i'm the only person on the server at the moment but i go for a bit of a wander around and try and locate myself a new copper vein because you know we're starting to run out oh i could actually probably do with topping that up whilst we're here i'm starting to run out and my next actual quest that i want to get on is doing the anvil uh, and that takes many many nuggets there are times in this game where i really miss hoppers Okay, so chances are this entire area around me has been absolutely picked clean. But there is a cave down here that I really wish to go and explore out. I'm not sure if, like, exploring caves is actually part of this mod pack. Uh, I could see it being much more of a, you know, going around and testing the waters with the prospector's pick to find out what's going on. But hey, we're here, so let's try and find out what's going on. It's going to be done in a series of artful uh, jump cuts, obviously, because, you know, searching these caves out could be a little bit tedious. Look at the size of these caves in everywhere. So so yeah, I'm going to go around, see what I can find, and bring you back if there is anything interesting to be found.
Is it? Oh, gee. Oh, no, 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 no. What is that? A book? Why is there a book here? Oh, man. I can't face though that sort of stuff. That That's that's super deadly. Super, super deadly. Oh, wow. He's actually coming after me. Run away. What's this? A bit of paper? Oh, oh, oh. They're all shedding paper. I don't think this is something I can deal with. Ah. Uh, um, down here? Am I safe down here? I don't know. I can't see anything. There is... Uh, what is this? A stalactite. Oh, jeez. He is literally full-on following me. Um... Can, can we lose him? This is a quite... Oh, I hope so, because I'm now at the... Oh, no, no, no. Go away. Uh, oh, there's two of them. Uh, I only took a little bit of health off me. I don't have anything to fill up a fill up the hole with, unfortunately. That would have been a better idea. I'm going to go get some dirt. <laughs> Burps. So after running around getting a little bit lost, I didn't go and get the dirt in the end. I just ended up running full tilt. There appears to be... Let's just have a look. Like, next to no... Um, ores immediately visible around oh yeah oh man this this giant's pick is amazing let's try going through here and see what we find uh, i'm just looking for like exposed ores but it really does not feel like there are any around anywhere oh, oh cave in i knew cave -ins were gonna be a thing i knew cave -ins were gonna be a thing uh over here there's oh look i found a bit of something uh let's open that up look i got a chipped amethyst that's very nice very nice i just noticed i've come out with absolutely no equipment like um armor and things like that this must have been a dead end in the end uh that's unfortunate i can't i can't get back out this way i need to try and find my way up okay what i'm gonna do is turn these into a bit of cobblestone rock to kind of place behind me if i feel like i'm being chased by anything like totally over my over my strength level Prospector's pick says, nothing of interest. No oh, traces of graphite. I mean, that's not quite what we're looking for, is it? Nothing of interest. What about down here? I mean, ideally, we're looking for copper. I'm not sure what form copper comes in around this area. Uh, maybe down here. I do worry that I'm going to have trouble finding my way out of this area now. Um, I don't bring any ladders or anything like that, so it could be uh, a very interesting proposition. Large sample of graphite. I mean, that's nice, but I don't think it's quite what I'm after. Should we try going through here? The problem with doing this is obviously when it takes that much out above you, it's going to cause a cave in behind you. So, uh, do we need to just kind of go from this block? Is this how it's going to work? I needed to bring those structural support. Whoa! Giant pickaxe takes out giant chunks. Okay, given the devastation that keeps happening, I'm thinking the giant's pickaxe might have been a little bit of a mistake. Oh, what do we have down there? I'm not sure I'm going to... Okay, let's try taking out this cobblestone. So the thing I've noticed is it will only take out cobblestone now? That's nice. That's actually very nice. So let's try clearing this area with the power of the cobblestone only. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's good. We can deal with this. We can live with this. Uh, that appears to be my way out. So let's try it this way. Is it going to take out a certain area connected to it? It appears to. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> we, we're not going to be going that way. <laughs> Whew, that was eventful. So caving, probably not the way forwards for finding equipment. So I've been wandering around and exploring the whole island that we're on here, and I really did expect everything of any interest to have been tapped completely dry. But if I just uh, come along and knock on that wall, you can see that we've got a small sample of tetrahydrite, which is actually the um, copper that we need. So what I'm going to do is try and bust my way in through this wall. Uh, I think I'm going to go this way, yes. You'll notice that I've brought a little bit of extra equipment with me. Oh, I hate it when you pick up a block and it resets your um, digging counter. Yeah, you'll notice that I've brought a couple of extra bits of equipment here. It's just so I can do this and make this a non-falling block. Very important. Very, very important. Uh, and now I've dug straight into dirt. So this is going to be a little bit more awkward. As I didn't bring a shovel with me. Do I have any sticks? I do not. Give us a second. When it's a thunderstorm. Okay, I seem to have found a spot where everything is kind of a little bit full of 
dirt. So I think what I'm going to do is go this way a little bit, just to just to get back under the stone because that's really what we need to find here. Now I'm not sure if this prospector's pick has a directionality to it. Like if I look this way, what do I get? Tetrahydrite. That's good. And that way, large. So that's where we want to go is down that way. So I'm going to dig this way again. I did bring a whole load of torches with me. I say a whole load. I did have over a stack. Well old school stack of 64 on me but i went down some caves and things all went a bit weird and, and then i used all my Ooh, what was that where'd this come from was that a, a cave in was that a cave in was it not i'm not sure maybe if we take this out we'll see what's going on no everything seems all right okay i'm gonna just carry on digging this when i've got a nice tunnel going down i will bring you back so I completely broke the giant's pickaxe and I did my copper axe in almost completely. But it's alright, look at all this copper that I've got. I've even got more in here. Uh, but this place is going to be super dangerous when I come back. It's not going to be if I come back, it's going to be when. I mean, look at all this copper that is kicking around. But unfortunately, I only had real torches. I say real torches, terra firma craft torches, which unfortunately have this um, habit of going out when we're not looking at them. I came up through the bottom here oh my such a route trying to find this place the uh, the hide and seek was real uh, you can see i went up some stairs down some stairs eventually dug off over this way uh, and when i was digging this way i managed to dig up a little bit and went oh look there's some up here which was kind of hilarious because i've come all the way up to here i wasn't that far away from the roof Oh wow, it is night time now. Sounds like a good time to get on my boat and go for a paddle around. How how late is it? Uh, the sun is just setting. Um, Dragon has left, so I'm going to get all the bad guys. Yeah, I'm going to use my boat to go around the outside and do a little bit of mapping. And I will see you guys back at home. As we watch the sun set on this most epic of days, I've got to say, guys, it is amazing to have an episode that is full of progress, as opposed to the normal episode where I seem to just, you know, bundle my way through, get things wrong, die a lot. Yeah, it was good. Good fun. We went over and explored the cave. We got the whole whole load of logs up and ready to go. And of course, ready for next episode, we've got all this copper to get melted down so we can do all the quests. But yes, I will see you then when we're gonna do all of that. Bye!